Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 302. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Starstream. Hello, everypony. Hey, Star, how are you doing? It's been a while since I got onto the show, so not much has changed. Alright, 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 alright. It's been a while, yeah, and we hit the trio. Oh, so, yay. Ooh, yay. More fun adventure ahead, I got no idea how. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's still quite surprising considering how long you've been doing this show. Oh, I think by 25th of February, we hit six years. Yes, six Ooh. years. Can't wait for you to do something special. Ah, no, special, man. Like, for the 300 episode, we got Silver Quill Sapphire on. And then that was pretty okay. Uh, it was, what, the co-host takeover? Now for the six-year anniversary. I don't know, man. The 25th falls on a Sunday, so I got no idea what to do, man. Like, we'll just see, man. We'll just see. Well, yeah, just take things slowly. It's, I mean, it's been a while. True, true. Oh, well, it's not the end of the world or whatever it is. Um, we still got a lot of content to go through. And yeah, who knows? Um, the 25th, ah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. As for now, let's focus on this one. And, well, in the news, in the news. Remember what I said about China just showing the movie? Yeah, I remember that. Well, it seems yep, that, that you can add in another 1.85 million to the list because that's the amount of dodge that's been generated by the Chinese in China for the movie. So, wow, that is a lot. Is it? Judging from my understanding, it feels like quite a little. Well, you speaking. have to remember that 1.85 million is kind of big for a kid's show. That is true, I dare say. But the one question arises is, when they say China, right, does it include Taiwan or is it just separate individually, just China only? What do you count as China? Uh, just China. Well, just China then, because if China is China and it doesn't really include Hong Kong or Taiwan or whatever it is, then yes, it's China. Like, if I'm not mistaken, Hong Kong and... Do it. Hong Kong is part of China. So yeah, this does include uh, in China. But Taiwan is its own independent country, right? I'm not too sure. Well, I myself, based on my geographical knowledge, it's not that great. So pretty much it's that. But I'm just... Yeah, that's, that's one thing though. Because sometimes certain places... Even though we know that it's in uh, in Asia, we know that it's separate. But maybe for like the Americans or the Western countries, they don't re- really know that they are actually separated for a while. I mean, they still say China is just like oh, they just refer to one whole big thing, including Hong Kong and Taiwan. Hong Kong is China. Yeah, uh, but they did say they want to be like, in a sense, independent. Well, until news comes out, then yeah, but. For now, Hong Kong is part of China since 1999 after 100 years of the contract from the British, if I remember right. Uh, yeah. well, not, wait, I thought... No, I remember they were independent now. Really? I remember it's independent. You know what, that's geography and that's not our forte. But um, on to the Pony News. Yes, uh, with the 1.85 million, this brings up the total... For international tally to 29 million. And that is a lot. Yep, 29 million is a lot, bro. And remember when Hasbro said that, hey, this movie, we're going to make it at the right amount. What was it? 23 mil, was it? I can't remember. What, which one? You mean that that figure yeah. that was released? Yeah. I myself can't remember I think it was something it's been a while already yeah I think it's something around I think it was around like 20, 30 million or something no I think it was lower than that I think it was 22 or 20 or even 15 mil something like that they made the whole thing with that budget but hey um, they made it so a sequel is in the way so that's good uh, so we'll have to wait and see for the future for that and talking about future and past Channel Fredinator did a pony comparison so, if you guys don't know uh, who Channel Fredinator is, they're a bunch of people on the YouTubes who do videos and stuff. One of the videos that I enjoy watching is the 107 Facts. That is always fun. 
like knowing things that you don't previously know or kind of know and them explaining back again. Those are fun. I would recommend watching The Miraculous Ladybug on set topic because it's fun to, well, kind of find out what's going on with that one. But back on topic, Channel Fredonator did a pony comparison between the 1983 pony film, Oh, sorry, the 1983 ponies versus the, well, now, G4. And they did a lot of comparison back and forward. Like, they mentioned that Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash are kind of inspired by Posey and Firefly, while the rest are still the same, but not really because Pinkie Pie is a G3, if I'm not mistaken? G3 pony, while Twilight is kind of... Inspired by Twilight Think Twinkle, something like that. It's been a while. They're not going to get their facts 100% right, but still, it's the general idea or general consensus. So, yeah. 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 Well, at least they did some comparison. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I thought they did say something bad about it. Oh, no, they, it wasn't really anything good or bad. It was just a general um, highlight about, oh, the ponies then were big and stubby and they were hard to animate ponies now they were thinking of animation first before the toy so yay that's good and like Lauren Faust was thinking about uh, dividing the show into two parts which is adventure and slice of life and yes that works whoa yep a good thing that it works Mm, yeah I mean uh, yeah and so and so and so on and then like they even talk about the fan base like way back when they were thinking about the little girls and whatnot and uh, for the newer series, they were thinking about the same, suddenly bronies. Yes. Yep. So it's really a fun video. You should go watch it if you haven't. Mm, you know, just for the fun. You know, just for the fun. It's highly entertaining. So yeah. Have you seen it, by the way? No, not yet. Oh, man. You should, man. You should. It's really fun. I know I should have watched it in the first place, uh, but... No, I just been a bit busy lately. Uh, yeah, with so the streams. Unfortunately, to watch it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, watching the Twitch streams and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anywho, um, moving on from that, we got news for season eight. Yay! Season eight will premiere Ooh. on March twenty fourth. So that's what, like a while away, twenty plus. It's not that long. So. Yay, no. season 8. It's literally just a month. Uh, yeah, just a month more. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, yay, season 8. And this time around, it's going to be revolving around school. Boo, that sucks. Oh, God. <laughs> no school, boo. Oh, why did they do that to us? Uh, well, at least we're not going to go into school, but we're going to watch people or ponies go to school. There's a lot of things in the docket here you can go watch, but I'm not going to... Well, I'm not going to spoil it because it's considered to be a bit spoilerish. Well, frankly speaking, in my opinion, when I was watching about the... When they announced the school team, I was my next impression was like, so when are they going to sell the toys? And the <laughs> toys is coming out. <laughs> I was like, my first impression was like, oh, wow, I'm looking at another toy. And oh, God, it actually came true. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the whole reason for any show, right? To sell toys. The Japanese like to do that a lot. <laughs> well, Japanese not really do that a lot. You like, unless they're super popular, but they may or may not do it. But it depends because they know there's a risk in the markets and whatnot. But here in this case is like a blatantly obvious marketing for kids. Oh yeah, true that. I ain't, I ain't gonna scold them for that. That's their bread and butter. But still, that's besides well, the point. It's very, as, as what they say, it's very toyetic in the yeah, first place. True, 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 true. But somehow My Little Pony Friendship is Magic made it work. Even if they want to sell toys, they made it work so that any other people who just wants to watch the show for the show can watch the show for the show. Yeah, that is true. But besides that, uh, EQD also posted snippets for the season 8 previews and whatnot. I recommend not go watching it because it might spoil you and whatnot. But still, a lot of things are there. One of the few things yeah. I can say is that Ember's going to be there as a cameo. Yay, Ember. Yay, drag the Ember. <laughs> Yay, like Ember. I like Ember. <laughs> but anywho, yeah. let's not spoil season oh. 8. 
like, like I said before, it's not just the snippets, even including the toy. <laughs> well, at least it's gonna release. Oh, remember like that song that came out? Ah, yes, the song that Hasbro took down uh... immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have no idea what's with the song, but okay. Technically, Hasbro on their official uh, YouTube page posted the song, and it was legit. Suddenly, when you try to go look for it again, they say the video is no longer available. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they accidentally. Oops, we released the music. Oh well, what can we do, right? Take it down. Take it down. <laughs> Damage control, damage control, that's what they call it. I I remember saying to someone, I don't remember who, maybe it's you, but season 8 has the worst track record for spoilers. Because isn't the fact that the whole plot was revealed? <laughs> not really, man. Like, we're not going to even go deep into that. No, no. Like, yeah, no, we're not going we to talk in, about uh, it. We're not going to talk because about this it. Because yeah. this is a spoiler-free yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. Like, we're not going to even go deep into that one because that's, you know, like we mentioned before, spoilers. But the fact that Hasbro themselves accidentally released a music video for quote-unquote season 8, <laughs> it's like, okay now, Hasbro, you done goof. Something tells me there was a huge miscommunication in the digital content uh, team and the, what you call it, and the what you call, production team or something like that. <laughs> Uh, but that's something for the future and whatever it is, we don't care. So, talking about yeah. future releases, you mm -hmm. know that I like Equest Strangles, right? Yes, I do know that. And I like the Shim Sham because, well, Shim Sham is cute cam. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> but still, um, there's a new short story or there's a new quote-unquote uh, show, movie, whatever you want to call it, called The Forgotten Friendship. And said uh, show is going to be 44 minutes long on the Discovery family, which is actually cool. Wow, that is what, um, two, yeah, that is like two episodes lumped into one. Yay! But according or to... Or in a sense, a movie. Uh, not really, a movie should be one hour and 30, but that's besides the point. But no, um, according to Nick Conflone, he told us that the Discovery family version is the short version. What you want to catch is the YouTube version because you get six extra minutes. And 50 minutes seems to be the original um, length of said movie or said series or said episode, whatever you want to call it. And it seems that uh, if it's going to be on the YouTube, it's going to be in five parts, 10 minutes, 10 minutes for each. Huh? That'll be interesting. Maybe. Then again, when this is 44 minutes out of 50, does that mean that the remaining 6 minutes is reserved for advertising? No, no, because when the original cut is 50 minutes, you can insert... Okay, Um, a good example is this. Friendship is Magic is 22 minutes long. This does not include the commercials, but it has a time slot of 30 minutes. So, mm -hmm. the additional... Give me a second, I'm going to open calculator because i got no idea what math. Um, for you guys. So thirty uh, minus twenty-two. That's about like about eight minutes. Yes. So you have eight minutes of commercial time reserved for an episode. With this one, you'll get an hour's worth of content probably because wait, um, forty-four, yep. and since it's going to be a special on the Discovery Channel, so it's going to be a movie. So you'll get probably an hour. An hour is 60, so you minus that with 44, you'll get 60 minutes worth of advertising. So this is for the TVs. But with the YouTubes, you'll get... I'm not 100% sure how they're going to post it up on the YouTubes because what Nick here says in his tweet is, Pro tip, Discovery Family will air a 44 version, but in the coming months, keep your eyes peeled on Hasbro's YouTube channel where you can see six extra minutes as it was originally conceived in five parts, 10 minutes each. So that means uh, on the YouTube, they're going to be split up into five parts and each part will be five minutes. And since there's no mm -hmm. commercial time for the YouTubes, unless you're talking about the ads that's going to be played before and after the video and in between. That's a different story altogether. But 
in essence, an uh, episode is going to have 10 minutes worth of length. And like Nick says here, it's going to be 5. So 10 times 5 is 50. It does make sense, but it's very convoluted. But hey, as long as we get the show, we get the content, it's all okay in my books. Yeah, that's true. And talking about waiting and whatnot, them fighting hers is finally getting a release date. Ooh, yeah. After been a long story of a C and Ds and whatnot, and it's finally oh, out. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. Oh god, I remember that. I remember y- you, Norman, and uh, Sunny is playing this game, the better version. Am I correct? Yep, yep. And here's the thing. I'm a supporter of um, them fighting herds. I supported their yep, I Indiegogo. That. And yep. they had the release where you can add in more if you want to. And I did. No, I do I do hope they include the mod support. That way we could remod the original characters back then. I, I don't know. Like, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. We will never know, right? Yeah, I, I, I honestly don't know. Because for stability sake, they won't. Unless the game is 100% stable. Who knows? But as from what I can tell, then Fighting Hurt has a lot of uh, history from its humble days as Fighting is Magic to its CND to its uh, resurgence and to Lauren Faust joining the crew. So, oh wow. Then Fighting Hurt has a lot of history with behind it. And since Them Fighting Hurt is an indie non-licensed game, they can well make money out of it and do other things because one of the few cool things that they're doing with this right now is that if you own uh, Blaze Blue, Guilty Gear Exart, or Skullgirls, you'll have costume for your avatars. So yay! And you can pre-order the game right now on the Steam and it's what? Uh, let's see. Let's see. How much is this? Twenty uh, third. It doesn't say. Does it show it for you? No, nope, not yet. Twenty third February. Yeah, but still, them fighting hurt is a fun game. You sh- guys at home, who's hearing this right now, should go probably pre-order the game because it's fun. There's a lot of things from the original fighting is magic that's applied here like you can see that arizona is applejack and you can see that pom is fluttershy and you you can see who else um velvet is rarity and one of their well she's kind of edge lordy um pony something like that she's a unicorn she has spell books and whatnot, and she's really edge lord. <laughs> so yay, much fun to be had. Apparently, it looks like he has adventure mode. Am I correct? I think so. I'm not 100 percent sure. All I know is I'm going to play the game. I mean, I mean, if you look at the picture, you look at something that looks a bit like um something like a beat 'em up style kind of thing. Looks like it. I'm not 100 percent sure because I only play the beta, and that's about my extent of the game. Like I'm. Not going to dig through it because, uh, well, how to put this? I I just want to keep myself clean from anything else because I just want to go in with a clean outlook, something like that. Like, I just want to go in unknown, like blank. Though, I, though it makes me a bit curious is uh, how did they actually get those offers in the first place? Oh, like uh, those cosmetic items. With Skullgirls, it's I mean, easy. Like, because um, Skullgirls is easy because they're using the engine by itself that one is easy but I mean it's Guilty Guilty Gear Excerpt and uh, Blaze Blue which, which is what surprised me actually well you have to remember Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue are from Arc System Works so probably they yep. got a deal or something like that you know honestly I got no idea uh, but I mean, no idea yeah. I think I mean then again, you still have to buy the license, am I correct? Even though you like say you want to use them or something. I don't know. For this one, I don't know. For this one, there's inner dealings. Personally, I don't know. I haven't been following their dev talks a lot. Maybe um, Sunny did hear a lot about it because he is really into the devs. So maybe they went yeah, to Evo true. or something like that and uh, one of the 
Arc System guys enjoyed the game and struck a deal with them, something like that. Who knows? Maybe. We would never know, right? Maybe the news is out there and we're derp that we didn't research this. Yeah. But talking about derps, it seems that a My Little Pony magazine is derpy too because they're... <laughs> how do I put this? They're showing derpy and they're naming her derpy. Yes. Hmm. Quite surprised because considering the fact that, well, uh, we used to calling it muffins or... Or bubbles. Yeah, muffins. Yeah. Or bubbles, yes. But I mean, like, even, even my build bear was called Muffins in the first place. I mean, Muffins is the more common name than Bubbles. True, but still, it's one of those things. And here's the thing. I have a strong feeling that this one was a huge derp by one of the magazine people. They got no idea whose this pony's name is. And they went onto the wiki page. And the first hit they got was Derpy. And they went with it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But then again... It's MLP Magazine. How could you screw that up? Have you worked in a magazine company before? <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to read the thing here. And yeah, I don't know. They actually call her Derpy. So yeah, that's cool. I, I I don't care. Derpy is Derpy. No matter what rendition you call her. She's the mascot of the show. And she will be loved. But still, Derp Pwn is Fun Pwn. Yay. So talking about... Well, I, I got no good segue for this. So, anywho, um, toys. You like toys. I like toys. We all love toys. Yes. Yes. So, in the UK, uh, a shop store called Draco has listed up the first set of Cutie Mark Crew chibi figures. Yay. And I... That's quite interesting. I don't know, man. This is so cute. Like, ah! <laughs> It, it it does look like an android, frankly speaking. I want to buy everything. God dang it. Well, good luck to that. Oh, okay, so let's see what they have here. Okay, uh, My Little Pony, Cutie Mark Crew, Blind Bags, 24 count. So there's 24 to collect. And oh my god, my wallet's going to take a huge hit. So in said blind bags, they'll give you a figure, pony figure, and some accessories. And a tube to put in your ponies. And each tube has, well, uh, random items from... A, an example is from Spike and a hot dog and his casing. Or Twilight, her tube, and I think that's cake. I don't know. It's too small to point out. And so on. And judging from what they have here, everything in here is random. Like, you won't know what you'll get. And they're expanding from uh, the Friendship is Magic series to the Equestria Girls. And I did notice a Sea Pony Fluttershy? I think so. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So there's even... I do notice that uh, also. So there's even movie products. And also Sunset Shimmer. She's cute. And also Derpy. Yes, Derpy's there too. The spike one looks very really nice. Yeah, go to EQD. There's a much uh, bigger version or much larger count or whatever it is. And they even sell them in boxes of fours. So, yay! Hey, there's Celestia riding a cart. And Celestia's cute. Yay! <laughs> oh, wow. This is so cool. Hey, it's very cool. But I'm quite surprised that... Um, oh, it's a chariot. It's not cart. It's chariot. Chariot? Oh, okay. Uh, it's depicted as a chariot, yeah. Okay, and also Applejack has a hat. So, yay! Wow, I'm quite surprised. How much did they spend for just making the accessories? I don't know, man. It's going to cost a lot. <laughs> but you know what's the funny thing? What? When you look at the picture, right? Mm -hmm. Applejack has one got hats and another version, they don't have the hats. So, what? <laughs> Different version, probably? I, I don't know. That's so weird. Even Rainbow Dash looks different in like two different setups. It's like, what? Because one Rainbow Dash is... Yeah, uh, this one's weird. I don't know why. Maybe it's the angle. But hey, um, we'll have to wait and see. If it does come to our shores, that's awesome. If not, then... Well, I don't have to spend money. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, well, that's the news for this week. And, wow, we spent almost half the show talking about news. So, yay! Another normal show. Woohoo! Oh, yes. It's 
Normal show. Yep. Well, wait, a lot of news to talk about. <laughs> yep, yep. So let's head into the next topic. And next topic is what have we been doing with our week? So Star, what have you been? What have you been doing, man? Oh man, I have been. Well, what I mean by busy was that um, a few a few of our friends actually came over to Kuching just to visit me, so that was fine. Uh, what you call it, Doc and his crew, the Kuching Bronies actually. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they came by to visit me, and then we get to talk about uh stuff, uh, bring them around, let them taste some cuisine and whatnot. What else? Uh, other than that, every day has been the same. Huh. All right. <laughs> Probably, probably I have something, but I just maybe at the back of my mind, I can't remember what I want to talk about already. Oh, <laughs> uh, it happens to the best of us. Yep. So, anything else? Nope, not really. Huh? All right, all right. So let's see. With me, huh? Nothing new actually happens. Like besides the whole gaming and whatnot. Oh, I've been playing a less payday, so that's news. I don't know why. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I just remember one thing. It. Still gonna talk. I was talk about Monsanto World was released, and I still haven't get the game. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> uh, for me, it'll yeah. be Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and I won the game, but I still haven't bought the game. But I did play it at my friend's shop, and oh my goodness, that game is so much fun once you got the general idea of how to play it. And oh my god, I can't wait to own it and practice and beat my friend because oh god, it's a fun game. Yeah, I saw the gameplay. I was like, huh, it's, it looks interesting. I mean, if you have the PC version, it's even better. Some people, they, what do you call it, they discover a very unique uh, homage in, inside the game, an uh, Easter egg. Mm -hmm. What is it? When you tune your resolution down, like, in, I do not know what settings you put. You do it very low setting and whatnot. When you play the game, it's it's played a bit differently. It's running in, a, what do you call it, a GBA-style graphics. Really? Yeah. Oh man, I need to find that out. You gotta send me the link, man. Yeah, I will. I will send it. I I will send you the link. No worries, man. All right, all right, right. And what else for me? Um, besides the whole, um, playing Dragon Ball Fighter Z at a friend's shop, eh, nothing really. Uh, this week has been a bit slow and boring for me. Um, uh, besides, nah, well, nothing. Well, not say boring or not. I mean, considering next week it's a uh, Chinese New Year. Oh uh, yeah, true that, true that, and. For a lot of people, family and friends gathering and enjoying funsies, that will be good. And some people will be bored of their skull because most of the shop will be closed. Ah, yes, correct. Well, then again, it's landed on a Friday, so... Uh... Uh, but anyway, that's the show for this week. So, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at www.gmail.com. You can also raise us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. So, Star, where can they find you, man? People can find me on my Twitter, AngelicorXX, or my DVNR, AngelicorXX, also. Alrighty then. And also, please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on BonifaLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to our newest in endeavor, the NBA Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Songs, talk about pony episodes, comics, movies, and whatever tickles our interests. And also, we like to expand our reaches, and we do things like other shows. One of those shows is Miraculous Ladybug. That seems to be the show that's attracting our interest. You'll be surprised by the results because Silver here has a lot of strong feelings to share. So go check that one out, man. Like, that's fun. Really, really fun. And if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com and coffee.com. With every support, you'll get early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And by exclusive and early access, I mean it. Patreon subs will get a week's advance in the review show. So like what you're hearing on the iTunes and YouTubes, that's this week's. What the Patreon's listening, that's next week. So if you want to be on top on the, what you call this, review lowdown, go support us on the Patreons. It's worth it. 
And you also get a huge thank you from me. And talking about thank yous, I like to thank Lurker Cat, Starstream, I still have lag, Amy, Mark, Charles, and also Lucky Knight. Thank you guys for the awesome support. You have been really, really awesome. So, anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And this is Starstream. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya! <laughs> Bye.